This is breaking news. Grammy nominations facts. Female acts dominate, Ariana Grande and K-pop snubbed. Beyonce makes history again. The 2025 Grammy nominations were announced Friday, and with a hopping 94 categories in the show, the Hollywood Reporter is breaking down what you need to know about, including the snubs, the surprises, and Bianchi continuing to make history. The SNUB is Ariana Grande scored three nominations, but was shut out of the top three awards. Post Malone missed out on Album of the Year, and though he's nominated for Record and Song of the Year, it's for his guest appearance on Taylor Swift's Fortnite. Not for his own, no. One hit. I need some help with Morgan Wallen. And speaking of Swift, she scored six nominations, but how isn't her groundbreaking concert movie, The Era's Tour, in competition for Best Music Film? And Fortnite didn't make the cut for Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance. Instead, Swift is nominated there for her featured appearance on Gracie Abrams' Us. Hosea returned to the top of the pop charts with Too Sweet. Tommy Richmond dominated TikTok with Million Dollar Baby, and Vampire Weekend impressed critics with Only God Was Above Us. But they were completely ignored with zero nominations. Bad Bunny, Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, and K-pop acts like Lisa, Arm, and Jungkook were also shut out. Benson Boone and Teddy Swims continue to dominate the Billboard charts with Beautiful Things and lose control, but they only earn Best New Artist nods. And despite producing songs for Swift and Sabrina Carpenter and winning non-classical producer the last three years, Jack Antonoff didn't earn a nod in the category. Winning Women Months after female acts won all televised awards at the 2024 Grammys, Women dominate in major categories for next year as well. For both Album of the Year and Record of the Year, women own six of the eight nominations. Women also have a large presence in categories like Best Pop Solo Performance, Best Pop Vocal Album, Best R&B Performance, Best R&B Song, Best Americana Performance, Best Folk Album, and Best Latin Pop Album. Black Hueens after earning nominations across the pop, R, and B, rock, rap, and dance genres, Beyonce adds country to her resume this year and continues to make history. But she's also uplifting others in the process. Linda Martel, one of the pioneers for black acts in country music and the first black woman to perform solo at the Grand Ole Opry, earns her first ever Grammy nomination for her collaboration with Queen B. They're up for Best Melodic Rap Performance for Spaghetti from Cowboy Carter, a track that also features Shibuzi. Martel released her first album in 1970 and had a top 25 country hit, but dealt with major hardships including racism at her live shows. Female R.A.P.D.R.s Though Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion were snubbed, other female rap voices are present. Dochi scored three nominations, including Best New Artist, Best Rap Album for Alligator Bites' Never Heal, and Best Rap Performance for Nissan Altima. Gloria's Yed Low and Cardi B's Enough Miami are also in the latter category. Lato and Rhapsody are up for Best Melodic Rap Performance, while Glorilla and Rhapsody will compete for Best Rap Song. Grand Mean Y S T A R B O A. After boycotting the Grammys in 2021, The Weeknd won Best Melodic Rap Performance at the 2022 show for his appearance on Kane West Hurricane. He can do the same at the 2025 awards. He's nominated in that category for his guest vocals on Future and Metro Boomins. We still don't trust you. Famous FACs. Daniel Radcliffe could become a Grammy winner. He's nominated for Best Musical Theatre Album for Merrily We Roll Along. Alicia Keys and Wayne Brady are also nominated in the same category for Hell's Kitchen and The Wiz, respectively. Nikki Glaser continues world domination with a nomination for Best Comedy Album, pitting her against five-time Grammy winner Dave Chappelle, Trevor Noel, 
Ricky Gervais, and Jim Gaffigan. The late Matthew Perry and Michelle Williams, who made headlines for narrating Britney Spears' memoir, missed out on nominations for Best Audiobook, Narration, and Storytelling Recording. Instead, the nominees are Jimmy Carter, Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, and George Clinton. Sing It Alive E. Muni Long was heartbroken earlier this year when she realized her viral R and B hit, Made For Me, didn't qualify for the 2025 show. But she submitted a live version of the song from her BT Awards performance, and she's now in contention. It's nominated for Best R and B Performance. She's also up for Best R and B Album, Revenge, Best R and B Song, Ruined Me, and Best Traditional R and B Performance, Make Me Forget. Outcasts under a 3000s flute album has made a splash at the Grammys. It's nominated for Album of the Year. Andrea, along with Big Boy, previously won the top prize for Speaker Box slash The Love Below in 2001. It is one of only two rap-based albums to win in the category. Andra's Knee